All right, good morning. Welcome to Monday, May 30th, Memorial Day. Good to see you today. Today's reading, we're going to start reading Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs apparently became uh, came uh, early on in Solomon's life. Um, you know, Solomon gained wisdom by being wise. That's what the Bible teaches us to do. Matter of fact, Daniel 2.21 says this, uh, And he hath changed the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. If you want to have more wisdom, do wise things. So Solomon, be Solomon becomes wise by first showing wisdom, but that wisdom is churned from God by ungodly women. The writer of Proverbs is Solomon. First Kings chapter 4 verse 32 tells us that Solomon was the author of 3,000 Proverbs and 1,005 songs. Proverbs 1 7 tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And of course Jesus is portrayed as wisdom personified. We find that in uh, Proverbs chapter 8. And here's a little bit of a division of how Proverbs might look. I was just contemplating how um, I'm going to teach through this. I think I'm going to stay with general. I think I'm going to try to keep the video short. Um, I was just looking. We taught through Proverbs back in 2015. My notes and explanation and teaching of just chapter 20 uh, of just chapter one is 21 pages long. Seven different types of proverbs, different uh, pointers, different things in there. Uh, so. We'll try to stay away from that. But as we go, maybe I'll take some points from that day and go ahead and apply them and uh, talk about them as they jump out. I'll leave the introduction of the book as the teaching for the day, so Proverbs 1 through 3, and uh, read those, and uh, we will meet back up tomorrow. Have a great day.